Mm-hmm. What's up? This is Out of Pocket. I'm the Jethro Jenkins. Y'all don't care who I am. Y'all see who we got on this couch. <laughs> I'm Ebar Shuffle. What's going on? They also don't care who I am, but I'm Zach Sports. <laughs> y'all, don't, y'all know who we got. Yeah. You feel me? You feel me? We were talking about Kyrie a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And we we're talking about how solid he is, you know what I mean? So a lot of people have been asking him if he's an elite NBA player. They've been asking that question online a lot. How do you feel about that? I mean, yeah. I mean, we could we could just lie to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen people talking shit online talking about that? Like that's it's part of the game. It's part of it. Like I think, like when when Mike Nunn was playing G, you know, I love. I'm a always reference Mike so because it was stuff. just lit to me. Mm-hmm. But you think they was not talking shit about these people. Like they was definitely talking shit about these people for sure. Like it, it had to be barbershop talk. Though. Right, right, right. It had to be uh locker room talk. Do you at the gym for work and you had y'all in yeah. the locker room, but y'all probably was talking crazy about somebody. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You probably was talking vicious. <laughs> right, right, right. But now Mogs really could hop on their line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, you know, you could throw some salt on it. You could add some Stephen A. theater to it. <laughs> that entertainment no, value. No lie. You can. Like, I saw the Stephen A. thing. Like, you can do all that. We can do the this person, selfish, that person. When we talk about hooping, that man can hoop, Joe. Yeah. No question. We ain't never seen I, nothing like this, Joe. Facts. I got to ask you, man. I don't want to set the internet ablaze, but you got to play with Kyrie. You were there for the 2016 NBA Finals. Kyrie didn't make top 75. Steph did. Yeah. If you had to pick. Between the two of them to be your teammate, who are you picking, Kyrie or Steph? I mean, I ain't never had Steph as a teammate. I had Kyrie as a teammate. So, so you, you rocking yeah, with that? Rock, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think Steph's accolades put him there, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Steph oh, got sure. the MVP, John. He got the, uh, the what, three finals? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you got three uh, three uh, chips and what? Um Four appearances? Four, five, five appearances. Five, five, appearances? five appearances? Five appearances. Okay, yeah, okay. So you got five appearances. You got three chips. Um, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I feel like his accolades and what he did in basketball obviously makes him top 75. But, For sure. But do you feel like really Kyrie? puts him higher. Is mm-hmm. Kyrie top 75? Certainly over Bob Cousy. I, I, I think <laughs> you know what I mean. I like mean, certainly, Bob if we look Cousy at the Kyrie. list, I think if you look at the list, it's all within opinion. So For of sure. course, Kyrie's gonna be. I mean, he's higher on the. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like when I break down my list, though, I'm probably gonna have a couple people in there that Miles gonna be like, "How you going? Because he could hoop, <laughs> and y'all wasn't finna play with dude. <laughs> like I like those type players. Right. So it's like. I might, it might be somebody that credentially makes the 75 that I feel like you ain't getting in. I want to ask you about that, that finals. Cause that's my favorite finals <laughs> ever. Obviously the one you guys came back. Was there a moment you guys knew that they broke? Like that you guys were like, we've broken them mentally to a degree. Hell yeah. They're on the ropes. What was, what was that moment? We had, uh, when we played that game and they had to play without Draymond mm-hmm. and I don't know. They was just quiet. <laughs> the energy was different. They was just quiet, bro. They ain't really have no real rebuttals. Like it was a couple of them that chirp here and there, but that was like they pride as a man kicking in. Like I ain't finna let y'all just talk that crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. But it was like the energy. The first couple of games was different. Mm-hmm. It was like, and then we started feeling like, oh y'all don't get down like that without y'all, big homie. Like. <laughs> That's y'all. With- That's y'all. <laughs> big homie, dude. That's how. Damn. So they're not built like they're not built like that. No, no, no. Like, I mean, I don't know if they are. It's just that's what our mental. We decided that's what we finna lean on now. So mm-hmm. you feel me? That's what we was. Talking. With that in mind, how much of an opportunity did Memphis miss when Draymond goes out last night? Right, Draymond's out. They um, could win that game. I don't know though. That's what I'm saying. That was yeah. back when we played them. True. true. Okay, okay, for sure. You see, what I'm saying them they got tougher now. I don't know, man. You more. saw what that light skin man. He was tripping at the end when he got that stop, man. You saw Clay, man. He got that stop. Shorty get the tripping, puffing the fish. <laughs> <laughs> they out there competing. Dude had to sit out a couple of years. Like they got some hunger and they got some, they got some fu in their blood. They not sure. soft. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I think we we leaned on it just to say like y'all aren't gonna play the talk shit game with us without dude for sure. You see what I'm saying? But we'll play that game 
without Braun, without I don't care. Like who's doing the talking then? Who's I doing look the crazy on your side? all the time. I remember time, it was times, bro. I done shot the ball awful, G. Like tired as hell. Like scheduled lean. I ain't shot really, but two shots in the last five games. I done shot two shots a game for five games straight. And then one day, Bron, Kyrie, all them just be like, oh, no, we ain't playing. But it'd be like, gee, I'm still tired from whatever. But y'all finna give me 15 clips today. I'm getting every one of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to shoot. I may be shooting that thing horrible, dog. Like, <laughs> listen, I'm still finna talk for shit, so, though. For so. If I'm shooting it horrible, I'm finna, if I shoot five straight air balls, dog, if I come by your bench and you say anything, I'm still finna talk to you as <laughs> if I'm serving, bro, and you a lame. I'm gonna make you feel like you lame. <laughs> so who, who in the like, league, if they're talking shit to you, you just don't believe them, they're not built like that? Who's who's trying to come at you and you just have to look at them like, yo, they're, stop this stop shit. Stop it. That ain't, ain't true, my not true. Damn. Uh, oh, uh... Nicholas, uh, 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 Miritich. Okay. You remember, uh, yep. Nikola Miritich? Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. He was playing with the Bulls, Joe. We was in the city, playing them in the playoffs. And I don't know, we was talking, we was chirping the whole game, and then Buddy, like, clotheslined me or some shit. Yeah. Like, some wild, it was wild. Right, like, right, he, right. he bold. He really bold. <laughs> <laughs> They got to me and just like, you know, Bron get to talking his, what you call, like, you know what I'm saying? Trump, it ain't worth it. And we in Chicago, like, and we in <laughs> Chicago. Guy, Bron, man, man, he's so yeah. smart. He's so smart. But it's he worth it because you in Chicago, He's so right? smart. Right. Oh, got friends, Tristan family, did got the same thing. You. Tristan like, shorty, you in Chicago. Like, you could just, cause, but they were saying, don't get kicked out the game. You got to kill first. Okay. Like, we okay. got to win Wait, so the I game. I thought Tristan would want you to get your <laughs> issue. I thought Tristan would be that Yeah, dude, but right. they was on some hype it up. They liked the animosity. They just was like, don't get kicked out, though. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't get kicked out. Let's hoop. All right. <laughs> so I just, like, I, I ended up scoring, like, the next three buckets, and then we went on, like, a, a wild tear on them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It got it got pretty personal. But he was talking shit, and I was just like, bro. <sighs> <sighs> In English? Was he talking shit? Was it broken? back and forth. But, okay, uh -huh. but he was giving you, so you couldn't even understand some of the shit he was saying. It's just like, bro, you... You don't play for the right city to talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of out of place, like, at this point. I kind of felt like that. I damn near felt like, bro, there's some niggas on your team that'll turn on you for me. <laughs> Didn't wow. Bobby Portis on his, was that? Oh, was oh that yeah, Bobby Portis. Bobby, Bobby, so, broke I mean, stage. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But I'm just saying, my, <laughs> no, <you're laughs> my energy, my energy was just, that was my energy. Like, bro, don't talk shit to me in Chicago wearing a Bulls jersey. Yeah. Right, right, right. You got all the wrong boxes checked off talking to me, bro. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no issue with you, but not nah, do. He feel like he got the home court advantage, but that's your hometown. So that's how I felt, <laughs> so, um, bro. It don't even There's do the same the crowd, thing to you. Like, I'm like, when y'all starting lineup, come on, it don't even do nothing to you. I'm over here finna cry. <laughs> Right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Like right. it don't even do that. It don't even bop to you. Like you just sort of like looking around, looking yeah, at the yeah. lights. <laughs> this is cute. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like you wasn't yeah, you right, ain't standing across that. the street on Madison Avenue so you could see all the players pulling to the players interest. You ain't do that. I right. did that, bro. Right. I'm like, I don't know what you was on, what you had going on, but now you talking to me in a playoff game when I'm right. playing Chicago. Right. <laughs> you a lame. <laughs> Stop talking to me, bro. That's how I felt. <laughs> we, well, but then they, they end up letting me rock, though. They let me get, like, the next three buckets. They called a timeout, and then we really started stomping them people. Like, we really we really got into them after that. So it was it was, it was dope. It was it was dope, man. It was better than me clotheslining them back. I, <laughs> Is it? Was it? <laughs> no. But, <laughs> keep it. <laughs> yeah, keep it being. Yeah, yeah, I, right, I, wish, right. I, wish we, I wish we would have got to throw them, but we didn't get to throw them. <laughs> So let's talk about the, the the playoffs a little bit. You know, the Warriors, we talked about them winning game one. You saw the ejection. Yeah. That was the weakest fucking flagrant two I've ever seen in my life. How do you feel about that? I don't know, G. He kind of grabbed him by his chest and controlled his way down. Like, I don't I mean, know. The playoffs? Damn near like a choke slam. Didn't he oh, dome him in so? the head then yanked I mean, the jersey? It was, it, he was going football. It was oh, no, he was trying. Listen, first off, yeah. Draymond was not being dirty on that. No, play. not at all. And he tried to hold him up. But at you the know the way the rules are structured. Okay, 
That yeah. was dumb. The, the there play, was the play no was need. Okay, there was yeah, no yeah. need to grab his chest. Yeah, but the, yeah. the yank down. The yank down was crazy because that's what threw him off. He, yeah, yeah. I think his body would have carried him into a position he could have landed. Yeah, yeah he could have landed that himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. else could have helped him. I think Draymond a lot of times on his first swing will feel like, damn, that that kind of felt malicious. Mm -hmm. So let me make sure He's cool. that I don't get thrown out. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And by doing that. <laughs> You got your ass thrown out. <laughs> Dray Draymond thought he wasn't even going to get a, a flagrant one. I don't know if you saw his, on his pod, he was saying he didn't even think he was going to get a flagrant one. He thought it was going to be like a regular fly, a foul. But yeah, I, Draymond. Like, yeah, <laughs> but you know, he said it was dumb. He's not going to have like, a history. I, right, right, I right. Him, no, I feel him, though, in a lot of ways because it's like, bro, uh, some of these fouls is just like, you know what I'm saying? That's a playoff like, foul to me. It's a, it's a flagrant a, one. But. Anytime, a, like, but you got fouls these days that even the offensive players, they hear the whistle and turn around like, I didn't travel. I didn't, <laughs> yeah. I didn't do none of that. Like, what you talking about? Like, right. I was a dunk. Like, right. they're looking like, bro, what happened? Right. They're like, oh, he fouled you. He, he ain't touched me. He right. 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 I had a dunk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dunk. You called a foul? Like I didn't, I didn't see him. That. I crossed him. What do you mean? So what if he fouled me? He couldn't he couldn't stop me. Like that's how we be feeling. And it's like the game done turned to that now. So it's like you can't even be shocked at this this here. Uh-huh. He should have knew that was going. Anything close to the neck, all of them gonna that go run sense. to the bench, run to the rest. Oh, that's you gotta review that. Review that. They all gonna do that. But. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, is review good or bad for the game? Because I'm watching the old school days. I was watching Larry Bird it. go up against Lambeer, just straight dome it. shots, and they got to keep playing. Bro, like. I hate it, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I hate it because I, I like I had to watch myself start doing that. Like being conscious of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I hated it, bro. Like, I've never played basketball. I think it makes me play different. Mm -hmm. Like I've never played basketball seeing somebody on a breakaway and I'm in the I'm in a full out sprint to go get them. And now I'm thinking about how I got to jump. Mm. Like in basketball, I'm supposed to jump reckless abandon within the play. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my best to be within the play and be correct. But I'm not supposed to jump thinking, make sure my back is vertical. So it's a vertical. <laughs> for, like, Straight bro, up. like you, some of these players are coming through like this. Like picture of Zion Williams, like the weight of him. The yeah. power, how fast he going. He jumped and he leaning forward. Why would I go up vertical? <laughs> Get punched on. Yeah. And now I'm putting myself in danger because I may <laughs> fall on my neck. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Like, did you see what happened to Brandon Knight when DeAndre dunked him? Oh, like, right, we oh, yeah, laughed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but they put that white line around that man's body because that <laughs> hurt, bro. He went down for a second. Nobody yeah. really understand. Like, bro, for a second, that wasn't just embarrassing, bro. That's probably like Dangerous. your air out your lungs. Mm -hmm. Like, Why is he going up? He like 180 pounds. Why is he up vertical? I just say mm -hmm. don't jump, my boy. Yeah. But that's game that, – you got to think. You telling competitors now. I'm just a regular dude. Let him have. Let yeah. him have that, bro. Right, right. Hey, bro. Let him go in your house and take a, uh, a sandwich. <laughs> Not in my house. That feels a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Not in my house. Make it personal. You know what I'm saying? saying? That, right, that's right. how I be feeling though. Like yeah. Miles be like, bro, you was thirsty as hell. Why you foul James? Right. Cause he just scored eight for eight straight, and right. he just hit a step back three. What you finna just? That's like somebody just walking in, like, hey, bro. What's this, a dude? This is Sprite? Right. <laughs> <laughs> not the Sprite. This is not the Sprite. Yeah. Where y'all got that Sprite from? All oh, these y'all, y'all just went and got, where y'all went? Take all the way. Wait, wait, you gonna wash your hands? <laughs> James don't even wash his hands, man. He just sit here. <laughs> 37. Pow! <laughs> and mine's be cool with it. I'd be like, bro, I'm just not cool with it. I remember yeah. we was in the finals one year and I did a foul. It was a one and one, a one, and one situation. And I knew the penalty. I knew everything that was going on. But I had to play dumb just so I could whack Steph Curry. I just had to <laughs> chop him. You needed that. I had to chop him to let him know, like, bro, the next time you shoot that jumper, you're going to feel that I just chopped you. You're going to understand that I'm so reckless with this shit. Like, I don't care, bro. You're not finna just 40 me. I don't like you dancing. I don't even like how you celebrating this shit. I don't right, like right. it. Like. Real talk, but that's how I was. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, if I, when I play this, sometimes people won't understand it. And I'm like, that's cool. Like, y'all don't have to understand it. Mm -hmm. But when I was six, 
I played this way. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was good enough to get me to eighth grade. I played that way. Mm -hmm. That got me to high school. Then I went to college. Like, bro, I I'm got to play like me. You get what I'm saying? But when they make all these rules and you adjusting, I'm like, bro, the only people that can, like, you going to survive in this league adjusting that shit on the fly like that. Like, mm -hmm. Chris Paul and James and all of them, like, tricking the rule books and doing all this shit. Right, I don't right. have none of that in me, bro. Right, right. I don't have that in me, my nigga. I'm not, I can't put the game in a ref's whistle. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't put my destiny on the line and say, if he call this foul, I can shoot my two free throws. Right, right, like, fuck, right. dude. <laughs> Fuck dude. Right. So is Steph the type that will wash his hands at least? He's gonna leave some hand sanitizer before he goes. Steph to the is fridge? not washing his hands. He's not, okay. he disrespectful out here, G. Disgusting. Who's the toughest? Who's the toughest? <laughs> You're gross. You don't wash your hands. You just yes. come and, and just, just grab take people food and just. Who's the toughest dude Clay you've had too, to go? Man, Clay, wash your goddamn hands. Man. <laughs> you come in here just robbing people of their pride. <laughs> Wash your goddamn hands, man. <laughs> <laughs> Clay comes straight off his boat, man. <laughs> Shorty comes straight off his boat, man. Shorty took a bite to the game the other day. I was crying laughing, Shorty. He <laughs> did? Yeah. Like he, he, he on the oh, my soul, he he to me. On. I did not see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on. Joe got off. <laughs> Walked right in, dog. Got right to business. Play different. Man. Who's the Love toughest it. dude you had to guard in the league? When you look back at your career, who's the dude that you know he's not washing hands, he's eating sandwiches, he's eating hot wings? <laughs> Kevin Durant. Yeah. Okay. Kevin Durant. Uh, and I say Kevin Durant because I, KD's one of them guys that if you you challenge him on the court, like I remember when he was in uh in OKC. He he called for a screen, some play or whatever, and he got this little dunk. And um, when he was running back, he just was sort of like, he really needed to just tap me to get by to like let me know he was there. But, you know, of course, we talking shit at this point. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, don't touch me. You, think you always call for a ball screen and fuck all that. Yeah. <laughs> Try to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Shorty went right to an ISO. Like, all right, you don't want that? Right, right. You want it? You want it? All right, come get it. Took me over there to an ISO, did some shop. You know what I'm saying? But I always respected his. Like, I, I feel like everybody will duck you for a while. Like, be like, yeah, I get a ball screen. I get a ball screen. It was like him, Tyreek Evans. Mm. Oh, Tyreek, bro. Yeah, he can, he went crazy. And. Kyrie, those are the only three people I feel like when I came at them about a ball screen on the court, they was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Coach, get rid of the ball screen. Like, and I was like, oh, okay. Now we can play. I'll never Tyreek took it to like AAU terms too. Tyreek he go walk it all the way to the sideline, right. clear everybody out. Like he real <laughs> AAU about it. Like, I love Tyreek Evans. Like, so it's um yeah, it, it was probably – KD was the toughest to guard than James, of course, because you got to keep your hand out the cookie jar the whole game, bro. Right? Right. I ain't never been a part of no shit like that. Or <laughs> <laughs> you, you just the whole game, you like trying not to look like you touching them. So it's like you ain't even guarding them. Right? Huh. He making you think a lot. You know what I'm saying? You just can't hoop. You got to think a lot guarding like them. I said, you know what I mean? picture your whole life. You saying, I know how to stop this play. If I run as hard as I can and I jump as high as I can, mm -hmm. I'm going to block this. Mm -hmm. And it worked like that in your head every time. And now they like, but if you jump as high as you can, right. he's going to jump less high than you so that you kick him in his head or you <laughs> kick him in his shoulder. And when you touch his shoulder, he's going to contort his body. Right, right, for sure. When he contorts his body, I know you think, like, that's the end of the play. Right. He's gonna make the basket because he practiced right. it. <laughs> That's a scary thing. That, that some people be like, it makes the game better. Right. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Yeah. I gotta accept that. Right. But when y'all be tucking elbows and like, I had to. I don't had to come out of games over that. Yeah. I had like this finger still messed up, G, from somebody tucking my hand, breaking my finger, bro. Shit. I played in Sacramento with a broken hand, bro. And had to get this shit fixed. And now this shit is just all from the flopping shit. Right, niggas right. be like, why you mad? Like, bro, you 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 doing all that. And it's not real mo it's not real movement, yeah. my dog. Like, we running like this. Like, run like a man, bro. Run like the man I know you could be. 
<laughs> run like your kids is watching. <laughs> you feel me? Like, make them proud, bro. <laughs> when they go down, they going to need to turn to somebody. Right, right. Don't have them have this replay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you was talking about- I was mad at myself. I did it a couple of times. All because it's like, nigga, I'm playing in it now. Now y'all frustrating me. Yeah, y'all yeah. steady. Yeah. Did you feel guilty? Did you feel yeah, guilty? Yeah, because I don't get no free throws out that shit. <laughs> Everybody look at me like, come on, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> the ref, the ref, they tried to, on, Sean. Yeah, they that, tried that, to that damn them five me one time like Sean. Nah, come on, man. I remember what I remember one time I did it because I just moved my face because dude swung his elbow. I just moved my face and they was like, you flop. I said, I didn't flop. I got out the way. Right, right. <laughs> like, if that would have connected, it wasn't going to be no flopping. Right, right. It wasn't going to be, it's going to be a whole lot of ass whoopings around here. <laughs> I'm like, y'all going to stop acting like the refs would have been able to come over here and grab me and contain me. Like, I would have whooped one of them too mm -hmm. after I caught an elbow like that. Bro. You get what I'm saying though? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I be saying that. Like, bro, I done got into plenty little NBA squabbles and back and forth, but it's like, bro. I'm not going to sit here and act like a ref could stop me. Mm -hmm. Like, we going to throw these things. Right, right, We're going right. to throw them. But the ref's not. <laughs> the one get in between. There's no way you're yeah. getting in between me. If I really want to get to do, Joe. Yeah. Mm. You, were, you were talking about KD. Was it wild seeing KD during that series struggling in that way? I'd never seen KD struggle that way. It was a matchup. I think Boston has a long, they had length. So you put a matchup zone out there, you throw Tatum where Tatum's supposed to be the bottom, and you put him at the top. The only way for KD and them to get off, they would have had to put somebody in the high post that would have had to go crazy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They had like, that dude. Yeah, but it's like you also don't want to start doing that because then you're taken away from what Kyrie and KD are going to be able to do as far as how they can attack. Mm -hmm. Once that person gets there, it's like you got to get off. Like mm -hmm. you would preferably – you want Carmelo Anthony. Mm -hmm. And you just say, Melo, just flash until they get rid of this dumbass matchup. Mm -hmm. Like, you just got to find your thing that it's like, you know what? In this. <laughs> right, right, right. Let's run a, yeah, let's run a, let's run a slam on the, on the opposite side. And Joe Harris knocked down four threes. And, and y'all leave me alone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That but hurt, that's the right, type of right. thing you need right there to be mm -hmm. like, y'all throwing a matchup at us to, to stop K. Right, right. So mm. now you're going to pay. You're gonna pay for twelve, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? And y'all better, y'all better hit some threes, or this could get out of hand fast. And then when you go back to man, K is gonna be so mad that y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like they just <laughs> didn't have that balance in that. And I feel like, you know, I just feel like they was under the microscope anyway, so mm -hmm. they just getting did in. But it's just like y'all got y'all ass whooped, so it's cool. <laughs> yeah, like, it happens. It happens. It's cool. Y'all it got whooped out. Like right, they right. was waiting on y'all. They game plan. Y'all wasn't ready for it. Yeah. It's cool. Like, y'all got whooped out. Kyle was frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. We all watched the series. Like, and then you got to give it to Boston. Not only was they ready, they was playing their ass off. So, like, it was times that the game was pivotal. Like, you saw Marcus Smart was like, nope. <laughs> right. <laughs> Left hand scoop. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't, they, they was just, they Tatum didn't average care. 30, yeah, you know what I'm saying? looking y'all in the eye. Katie. He looking you in the eye and he drenching you. It ain't right. nothing you could do. Like sometimes they gonna take you out of what we started out there. They gonna take you on the island and drown you, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you have to be able to swim. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's we always say that, bro. Can you swim? So when you look at this Celtics Bucks series, were the Celtics feeling themselves maybe a little too much after sweeping the Nets, and did they underestimate you with this Bucks? You better be feeling yourself. Or you but did they underestimate this Bucks squad without Middleton and just think they were going to walk through like they walked through the Nets? No, I just think it's an uncomfortable matchup. It mm. makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I really don't. I think. I think the first game playing Giannis for anybody is there's gonna be a shock value involved, bro. No matter who you just came from playing. Like, unless you're KD because he just as tall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're tall, it's like, if you Michael Beasley, you you probably wouldn't care coming who who you got to play. But it's like, for everybody else, like, I feel like Jason Tatum, what, what is he, 6'8", 6'9"? I think he's 6'10". Yeah, Tatum's 6'8". He's from 6'8 to 6'10". He's in a group. Brad Stevens in a group a few years ago. People rolled his eyes and then you see him next to KD and it's that a lot closer. That motherfucker's different. And his arm's like 7'3". Yeah. <laughs> Something's I don't want to have it. grew again? I'm telling you, he's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He another one. Light skinned man don't wash his hands. <laughs> Disrespect. We back. Disrespectful. <laughs> Light skinned men <laughs> in this league, man. They washing their hands so they come out here just right. give me some fries. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my mama. Uh but yeah, he um I just feel like he gonna have to uh 
he taking the adjustment right now. Like it'll be good for him though. Like I, I they take challenges over there in Boston. That's right. What, right. That's a fact. That's a they fact. take challenges over there, bro. Like if that's what it's got to be, that's just what it's got to be. Like that's why it's cool to watch. But you gonna have that wow factor with Giannis because it's a different speed. He just gonna keep driving. It's gonna it's gonna ruin a lot of things you got going on with foul trouble. Like you got to make adjustments. So when they now that they've seen it, I feel like it's gonna be a better. They'll have a better presentation. Guarding Giannis seems like it's just a horrible experience, right? Like, who is the guy when you were playing that you were like, I'm going to be in the ice bath for an hour after this game because the person is just someone that you, that they're physical, they're annoying, they're talking to you. More than anything, they're just bumping you the whole time. Um, Bron. Really? Yeah, Bron's a... He seems effortlessly, effortlessly physical too. Yeah, like he doesn't. Yeah, it's not him. Like there's just he's not going to trying muscles on muscles. Won't bother him much. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. He'll be all right. Um, but yeah, Bronze, he's heavy. Mm -hmm. He's just that, that's the best way that I can describe <laughs> it. Is he's just a heavy person. Yeah, he's heavy, and his feet shouldn't be moving that damn fast. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. And then you know he got free reign to do whatever he wants. Right, so it's right. like you under the rest every time you got to watch him dribble it up. Don't let him walk the half court and get the wipe and sweat on his <laughs> Right. Look at, look at the foot. That look off. Down that, that, that <laughs> dribble on the It goes downhill <laughs> after that. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd say Braun just because he's going to put you in the post. He's going to dribble the ball two spots and shoulder you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's going to sprint around. Like if somebody sets a screen and he got to go through a cut, it's full speed. Right, right. So it's like every time you got to. Feeling all of that. You see what I'm saying? Like the whole game. And then if you he guarding you, you know what I'm saying? He's going to use his body. Yeah. But he's physical. Like like I said, it's not to him. It ain't nothing. He right. just. But it's just him. this. Like you yeah. cutting through with him just being like, I got it. I got like, You'll yeah. be like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro, you got your whole hand on my shoulder like that for him. what you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, why well, it feel like you trying to? But it's not. He just, right, right. You know, he just in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I feel like him, and maybe Dwayne Wade, because mm. Dwayne Wade drived. He I'm, did play reckless. I'm talking too. about yeah. Dwayne Wade, Wade was right at driving, you. driving, Chicago driving, Chicago. driving, yep. driving. Yep. It was like, bro, shoot a shot. I'm giving you a shot. He don't want it. No. He does not. He going to eat up that space. Mm -hmm. He don't care. He's like, oh, you going to give me a three? He'll just drive in there, then shoot a floater and fall on you. <laughs> <laughs> shoot a floater. Now we, bro, why are you touching me? Man, you sweat. <laughs> you ain't change your jersey. <laughs> D-Wade, another Chicago guy, does not wash his hands. <laughs> so the Lakers were, were a hot bag of boo-boo this year. LeBron tweeted that. <laughs> hot bag hot of bag. boo -boo. Hot, steamy. Would you find it? Steamy. Would you find it any other way? <laughs> steamy. But LeBron basically tweeted that it's how painful it is for him to watch the playoffs and not be participating in it, and it's not going to happen again in his career. Do you believe that he's going to have what it takes to get himself and the Lakers back to the mountaintop. Yeah, I didn't think they would miss this year. I feel like they was just hurt. Mm. That's a fact, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I don't talk about, but AD only played like 40 games. Bro, that's right, what I'm right. saying. We could do whatever narrative. I was telling people, I'm like, bro, I was like, so you think that? I'm like, bro, y'all think, because y'all saw some weird little clip of me uh Telling y'all about uh, in the context of a conversation that Braun ruined some shit. I'm like, y'all think y'all saw that? Then I, I think this nigga can't hoop. Like, I don't. <laughs> I'm like, bro, the man go to the playoffs easy because the man understand the game. Like he understand every matchup, bro. I'm like, sometimes Braun's not winning because his team better or it, he just knows what y'all are trying to get done. And he's going to do everything in his power to scramble it and ruin it. And the moment he ruins it, that's when he says, all right, now we can see who's better. Mm -hmm. Picture having a game plan saying, yo, I want you guarding him. And he makes sure of it that you guarding over there. <laughs> <laughs> and now this person who is not ready, if you're ready, now we can have a game. Sure. That's Braun. That's what he do. People be like, oh, how is he? Bro, I'm telling you, the man playing chess with you, dog. And he playing chicken with you. He doing all of it. He doing all of it. And he got and he got that audacity to say it to his coach. This is let's play chicken with him. I don't want to do the play you saying. Let's play chicken with dude. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? It take that confidence for everybody in the huddle to be like, let's roll with what dude just said. Like, <laughs> he, he mean that shit. <laughs> yeah, let's roll with what dude said. But it's like, that's, I, I, I think that he could get back to the playoffs as long as he's got a team that's healthy, that he knows that's his team and what he got to do. I feel like he can get back in there just because you have to remember this man has seen 20 years of basketball. Mm-hmm. He skipped that part of college where we were still playing with Moggs that was trying to get a degree. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? He skipped that part. Academic. Straight to grown man. They, was, they were there for academics. Was straight to grown academic. men. Yeah. yeah, they had all type of shit going on. He was already in the ice tub with an iPad. <laughs> drove himself to practice. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was already doing all of that. It's like, bro, he a grown-ass man in a league. Like, he grew up in the league, damn near. You see what I'm right, saying? Right, so right. it's like he's seeing it different. He know every coach, every scheme. You ain't throwing nothing new at dude. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's hard to tell me, oh, you think Bron going to miss next year too? Like, I mean, bro, if all his team is hurt. Right, right, right. <laughs> and everybody make it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, bro, right, everybody right. hurt. The man did I'm like, I don't know. I can't really get mad at the man. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, AD, like the main ingredient for what he over there to do. We need him to be the best player. You know what I'm saying? We need him to, to show out. He, can, he can't even He the on young court. one. Yeah, it's yeah. like you supposed to be the young one. Right. And he having an unfortunate time with injuries. It's like, damn, Miles is mad that the man injured. Like, he want to be. I'm like, bro, yeah. don't you know it hurt him? It's yeah. Really, yeah. He his play. body really hurt. Yeah. Uh, they like, he don't want to play. The nerve. <laughs> you think he want to be hurt? <laughs> People used to say that to me, though. I used to hate that. Just so y'all know, for all our listeners out there, man. <laughs> I really hate when y'all do that, bro. <laughs> I really hate when y'all think y'all want to play basketball more than me. Like that's, that's weird. That is a wild way to put it, bro. <laughs> Real talk. Like, a fan will sit at home wild. and yeah. think they want it more when than they me. On their couch, mm. bro. You could, if you wanted it more than me, you would switch spots, gang. Yeah. Come switch. Can, one you practice. ain't figured that out. Can early. you swim? One Can practice. You swim? One practice. Yeah. Yeah. Can you bro. swim, bro? Send me the life vest. Real is talk, because you will drown out here, bro. <laughs> they, it, people really want it out here. You talk about Giannis and the shock factor. How would you limit Giannis? How can you limit Giannis? Meaning he affects the game in so many ways. He shot 33% yesterday, which is like half of his you know season average. And he still seemed like he dominated the whole game. He's playing in close quarters. You're, um, if I had to play Giannis, I'd take everybody else away at this point. Mm. Uh, the idea has got to be don't let him get everybody in foul trouble because there's also this thing where it's like, let's just foul him. Yeah. Like put him on the line, play with the percentages. But I, I've never played a game by percentages unless it's like special situation. Mm-hmm. I don't play percentages because I'm big on the heartbeat of the game. Mm-hmm. With how Giannis plays, there's so, they always like coaches will tell you, good things happen when we get to the lane. Like, mm. Good things are just going to happen. If you guys keep penetrating, keep penetrating, good things are going to happen. They tell that to all guards. That's a center mm. penetrating. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. The fuck you do with that If shit. good things are going to happen for me <laughs> at 6'3", six, 6'4", six, <laughs> then I can grow. I'm 6'5", and now I'm the two. Then you get a 6'8", Mog, that get in there. Nah, bro. Dude, 6'11", seven feet, long ass arms, and he getting in there. So it's like once you have that, it's like he's going to – the reason it's going to look good, even if Giannis just drives in there and all fails, he just collapsed the whole lane. So he's going to have a good feeling about how he's playing basketball. Like the energy of the game says he's doing good. Mm Mm-hmm. If I just drew five jerseys into the lane and there's a kick out, now all of y'all have an inside out three option. You have a close out you could drive. It's so many things that you could pick through now that he done collapsed this lane mm-hmm. and he done ruined the matchups. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's that's why you dealing with that, we honest. And he run hard as shit. Like if you have a white dog run His hard. His motor is insane. Bro. It's seven foot. How the I'm fuck like, is bro, that? What is dude? That he what you on, bro? What is you? That's the Nigerian blood, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, no. <laughs> My Lord. Man, I'm like, dog, don't get tired, man, Sheesh. dog. You drink water or Gatorade? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Is it water or Gatorade? <laughs> can, can I ask one more thing? Um, CP3, Scott Foster, right? It's Scott Foster. Ooh. He's never, Scott Foster, right? CP3, never won a game with Scott Foster. With Scott Foster. Was there a ref where you guys were like, oh, we got, we had this fucking guy tonight? 
Or do you do you subscribe to the fact that Scott Foster? I mean, clearly he does, but like, I mean, once people start informing me of it, I, I pay more attention to it. But yeah. I don't know, G. I used to be feeling like all of them would get into it with me. Like. <laughs> Fair. But they cool at the same time. Yeah. I never took it too personal with refs because it was just like my pops ain't never really allowed me to get into it with refs. He yeah. just was like, what did you get into it? Like, <laughs> it's a waste soft, of time. Like, you soft. But he, my pops was just that old school guy's guy that just like, that's some soft shit. You go bicker <laughs> with the ball, ref. Right. Yeah, like get into it with dude. <laughs> get into it with dude that just gave y'all a reverse on the other end. Get into it with him then. Like, what did you get into it with the ref for? Like, Battle them, bro. Like, the ref is just here so that don't nobody die. <laughs> like, he like, go to war. <laughs> the ref just here so y'all don't go too out of bounds. Right, right, but right, right. Play right, ball. Right. Like, I don't care about you bickering with the ref so you could get what you want. Like, you got fouled? Make the layup. Mm -hmm. Just argue about the extra point then. Mm -hmm. You missed the layup, fam. Get back. That's how my pops is. <laughs> right, he wanted right, right, in. Right, right. I wanted to ask you about Pippen. I uh, love, love Scotty. I know you, yeah, because I'm not being from Chicago. You saw Pip. You know, I, and I, I remember him, you know, without MJ, Bucky Gitter. Bucky. Dog. Bucky. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think they were like one win from probably making East, East Conference Finals. You know, mm -hmm. 30 Beating MVP Knicks. voting. Yeah, and thir yeah, yeah. Lee didn't really up. want to talk about yeah. that back in the day, but. But uh, he says that nobody, he didn't get the defensive player of the year because everybody was too busy watching Jordan. How do you feel about that? I would say it's probably true. I think, bro. I mean, I don't remember anybody else being put in to do what he used to do. I'll never forget, bro. I don't know if none of y'all was Super Bulls fans like I was. Mm -hmm. Do y'all remember when Gary Payton was doing us dirty in the 95-96 finals? The man was an issue for us. Bro. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> man bro. got his little dunk. He get to looking at the crowd all crazy. He Fucking was real acting tough. real crazy. I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. <laughs> They put Scotty P on this man to start the next couple of games, G, and it got ugly for these people immediately. Yeah. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> got uncomfortable immediately. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people play with Scotty P if they want to. <laughs> Shorty used to get on people ass and go dunk it fast. Like, Go up there, and you know it was six eight, and it was long. Bro. Right, right. <laughs> so sweaty. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm already a basketball. Why are we talking basketball? I'm yeah, I'm crazy. already a basketball. basketball. So we talking basketball. Sweaty coming through. He, he barely jumping. To, right. To man, I'm talking about cocking it back, ah, splash, all that. So it's like, I'm like, bro, I don't know. I I done seen so many of his so many of his steals are all because of him. Mm. Like I had so many steals my rookie year, bro. I was like third in steals or something. But I'm like, bro, I'm so I'm getting so many steals that I'm starting to influence other people to do stuff to help me get these steals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Swish seeing that uh, how I jumped the lane on this, how he he like if I could give him an extra second by he now he doing something that you do it. Now I'm getting an easy one. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to party real easy. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like Pip was getting everything just like, you dribbling now, you just can't move no more. Right. He, he done cut this off, you tried to spin back middle, he done cut that off, you tried to go over here, he ain't flopping, he ain't gonna do no charge. Yeah. No, dig that out, get out of here. <laughs> then he just gonna move you and go punch it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, So I'm watching it thinking like Pip, I just feel like he was better because he could do that and then he could switch on to your center. Right. Guard and one through really four. guard one through him. Five. You know what I'm saying? Like really guard him though. Like not like how like like me. I don't really guard the center. <laughs> I just wait for the center to think I'm a little nigga, and then you do something stupid, and I strip it. You know what I'm saying? I watch enough film to know where you're gonna place the ball. And right. You you know what I'm saying? I'm efficiently taking the ball away from you. But if you know what you're doing and you really lock in, you're way too large. I can't even get around you to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's plenty of mods that be like, nope, I know it's Shump. I'm not doing this with him. Right, they right. Just put it up here. Like you can't. It ain't nothing you can do. You have no plan for this. <laughs> Good luck. <Yeah>. Jump hook. <laughs> <laughs> I had plenty of deal. Like mod just look at me like, nope, Shump, nope, nope. Dude, we knew this would happen. <laughs> we we've been here before. <laughs> Jump hook. Like if you if you don't play with somebody, you can't. But Pip. You couldn't just jump hook him. He'll go up there and block that. Right. And I, you know what's crazy, bro? I never even asked myself why that man never got that. 
I didn't either. And I was It's crazy. I damn near assumed that my dog had one. I, I mean, he was like weird. top four, top five defensive players I've ever seen. I would say probably in the top three. OD. You know what OD. I'm saying? And, like, it, you and you couldn't say that he didn't have a motor. Right, this right. wasn't like he was doing this a couple of games out of 82. Nah. Yeah. Never got tired. All day. Yeah, yeah this was yeah, never, all day, yeah. all night. Whatever y'all need, man. Hey, man, Scotty P, I appreciate y'all, man, for the <laughs> For them rings, man. I feel like they was my rings, bro. <laughs> I feel like I should be taking pictures with them bitches, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, shorty. Last question I got for you. You're doing a bunch of stuff. You're doing the music game. You got an album that's about to drop soon. But do you still want to hoop? Hell yeah. I, I mean, I be hooping. Like, I just, I'm done posting proof. Like I told you, I really felt disrespected when my moms really be tweeting me like they want me to hoop more than I. I'll be like, uh, uh-uh. uh, nah, <laughs> nah, uh, we not doing that, bro. Yeah. I don't even know y'all. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't even be knowing my. So it's like, bro, how you gonna tell me what I be want to do, bro? Hmm. How y'all gonna tell me what I want to do, bro? Y'all don't be there when I gotta miss my daughter shit when I'm working out doing all the man. I got to deal with real shit, bro. <laughs> like, I really be trying to make it to my daughter shit on time, still make it to Tiana shit to support her to do shit. Um, bro, nah, y'all want to get a, y'all know how to get me to come back play ball, man. Get this contract together how we all used to do it, man. Like, y'all want to be on the minimum one year we out the band, we go out here and we get something cooked up, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I really don't feel like you can say, hey, man, come over here for a 10 day. And in this 10 days, everything got a little magically happen. Y'all got to give me the, what y'all going to give me the ball to drop 20? Y'all not. Y'all got th- two, three people on every right, team bro. that's shooting all the pill, bro. You're not going to know what I'm going to do until we get to the playoffs anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was the issue. It's never been an issue of does he mind love basketball, bro? Y'all can keep that shit. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. It's very strange, bro. Like, ain't it crazy? Like, it'll be this podcast. It'll be this video. Y'all post this video. <laughs> and Miles will be like, I never thought of it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Eye opening. Yeah. Like, you know what? He might want to hoop. <laughs> he might actually like basketball. He might love that shit. <laughs> I'm listening to him. I talk. He might still watch it. <laughs> he asked me in the airport today if I was watching the playoffs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you see the humor, bro. Like, am I watching? Yeah. I'm like, I wanted to ask him, do you know what's going on? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Are you understanding? Are you asking me to break it down? For you? <laughs> what are you really asking Where are we me? Going bro? with this? Yeah, yeah but like, don't ask me if I'm. You know, right. that's like asking me, did you know it rained today? <laughs> Bitch, I went outside. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I went outside. Put that on too. the shirt, dog. Yeah, <laughs> no. Bitch, I went outside, man. I opened my car door too and drove. Right, right, but, right, right, right. You right. Still- <laughs> <laughs> You feel me? Ain't no pollen out there. You should be good. You, <laughs> you were talking about your family. Yeah. I just recently had a shorty like six months ago. She Congrats. appreciate you. She whooped Congrats. my ass last night. I ain't gonna oh, lie. Oh man. Oh, they gonna ass, whoop bro. you out. 12, 30, 3, 30, 5, 30. Oh, yeah. You, you gotta daddy gotta pick up. Right. I'm around. up here like, yeah. damn, you know, yeah. this is what it is. You feel yeah. me? You got any advice for me, my G? You got you got a beautiful family. I saw you on the cover, Ebony. Appreciate Congratulations that. with that too. Beautiful that. cover. So um advice I say, um, one, understand that you're never doing it wrong. Mm. None, none of us are doing it in a correct. There's no rule book for this shit. Man. The only rule book is they come before you. That's literally it. Oh, facts, facts, facts. Fact. And that's you see that as soon as you had a kid, you just be like, oh, it's definitely you. It's definitely you. That's my what am I? When she <laughs> opened her eyes, G, you what am I? Right, 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 <laughs> You're like, what am right. I? I don't care. You you wear dog, you wear the dumbest. You go you gonna see you gonna have to put all every dumb outfit you get, but you gonna be so it, proud. It, yeah, you yeah. gonna be proud. Oh, yeah. I dressed up as the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> she wanted you to. Yeah. Only all and I was it. cool with it right, right. till they ripped the head off. Cause my kids is. <laughs> They're your kids though. Straight up. <laughs> see right away. That's my daddy. <laughs> I can see his neck. Look, I can look at his arm. I can see his tattoo. That's definitely my daddy. Like, and then took the took the mask off. Like, you're getting that. But I say, no, seriously. Um, you're never doing it wrong. And the best way uh to prove to them that you're giving them attention, because I think 
the biggest thing for a kid is not being able to communicate that they just want attention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And attention doesn't always mean um, jumping in front of their face or something like that. It's paying attention to them on a point where they feel like you understand their routine. Mm -hmm. Like you, you understand I'm going to be hungry before I'm even hungry. Mm -hmm. Like that's attention to a kid. Like I used to do this, like T used to be telling me, uh, Rue was waking up um, early mm -hmm. and like upset mm -hmm. and T so tired coming from rehearsal. She like, when you get here, I don't know how you finna deal with this, trying to go to practice, but this girl been woo woo. But we figuring out, I'm just like, gee, I could just set my alarm to about three, four. If I get this girl a pamper, mm -hmm. If I swap her pamper out before she, in the middle of the night, I could swap her pamper out and give her a little baby, like a little bottle. Mm -hmm. Like we had ounce, this little short. Little two ounce joint. Little quick joint. Little, little, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Top her off right quick. She don't even wake up though. Bro, that, that's the one. Look, he like, that's bro, the one right bro, there. Bro, dead ass, dead ass. At nine o'clock, because she was getting hungry around that time, we would feed her and she would be asleep while we feeding yeah. her. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Put her right back to sleep. She never woke up. In Real world. talk. You and you get a lot done. That right. itis. That's it. Right there. Hey, hey, bro. I, I <laughs> hey, dog. Nah, once you find that and that warm and that warm milk. Wait, 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 you how many months? Uh, six months. Six months. Six, six months. Yeah. Months yeah. On, to, tomorrow. Shit. Yeah. Oh, congrats, bro. Yeah. yeah congrats. Oh, yeah. yeah. She. Yeah. Like she about said, to be ready for that warm. That warm one. That warm bottle. Yeah. They about to be out all hey, night. That Similac <laughs> like crack, dog. Oh, they, yeah. They, that Similac. They, yeah, but you go get them now. You go get that one. Yeah, they be drinking they be it. They like, oh, shit, daddy. What? <laughs> what? what is this? <laughs> I that, hey, I know that life, man. Right, that's right, right, congrats, bro. though, for real, dog. I, you, that's like my proudest. Bro, having having kids is like the, the best shit because it, it reminds you like, I ain't do this shit for no reason. For sure, for like, sure. You have a lot of points in life that Especially me, like I felt like I get places and I'd be like, "Bro, did I really want to get here? Like, I just did all that. I just missed out, and I really be having to weigh it out. Like, was this shit really like that? Mm -hmm. Like, I just dropped everything I had to do to get to this. Like, what's this? Why am I here? You know what I'm saying? And once you have kids, bro, it lines so much shit up. Like, you'd be surprised at how many times you gonna assess some shit you never been to. And not go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will tell you about the most kick ass. I don't know, like, what's your favorite thing outside of sports and shit? It's but weed, but you know, <laughs> if somebody told you, you they had the biggest weed factory with all the new weeds right, right, and everything, right, and right. we whopped it, bam! <laughs> but you gotta go. Two, two, three hours out, we whopped it, bam! You gonna look at your little girl, like, man? We gonna be crying. She gonna be right, uncomfortable. Right. Fuck that right, shit. Right, ain't bro. even worth it. Like, bro, no bullshit. I done, it been plenty of stuff that I ain't gonna lie. If I was sitting down with nothing to do, I, man, I probably would've went. And when I got there, I probably would've been like, this shit waste of money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just waste 10 bands trying to get a table with this shit. <laughs> shit's stupid, man. <laughs> shit's stupid. But you can have kids, bro. My kids, like, don't, don't get me wrong, they still expensive. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Do you know how much money I've saved being with my kids? <laughs> just being at the crib. <laughs> just want to be at the crib with the shorties. Man, yeah. they be, man, like the simplest stuff. Days that it'd be like, bro, I could end up spending 15 to 30 bands today. Just doing some regular Iman just, just landed and I'm lit. Oh, right. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I want to, I may land in the most littest shit ever before we could get to the hotel, Junior. Daddy, can we stop the playground? Mm. Now nah, I'm at the playground, three hours. <laughs> I don't make enough money to save money with kids, so. <laughs> well, listen, you go see me thinking sweet. Yeah. That man thinking sweet, man. Yeah, she, well, she, <laughs> she gonna be up here at this office with you. And the moment she get that voice going, okay. your ass go every break time. Damn, we can't go to the park? You gonna be, oh, we could definitely go to the park. <laughs> you gonna call her ass. Can we shoot the next episode tomorrow? <laughs> y'all think? Y'all heard think, that? I got it from mom. You hey, feel y'all think? So when I hit y'all, you feel me? Do y'all you know I mean? think that either that or yeah. you go? 
She said that she got to be on the show today, dog. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Sit on the lap. Out of pocket, you know. She's going to see real quick. Yeah. Yeah. She said she get to sit on the couch with us. <laughs> I don't, I, if y'all don't want to, just can we just tell her all at once together? Because <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. I can't, yeah, I can't break her heart, right, bro. Right. All right, man, appreciate you, dog. That was, was awesome. one of the funnest interviews I've ever had. Right, I man, really I appreciate, appreciate y'all, you, man. I appreciate Thank y'all you. having Thank me you. on, man. One time for you, Mark. <laughs> hey, let's go. One time, man. That's out of pocket. That's the show. Oh. oh, hello, Buckets. Did you enjoy that video? Well, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the channel. Check out some of the other videos we have. They're all fantastic. Also, like the video and make sure to comment on it, anything you want to tell any of us.